Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And in this video we're going to show you something simple. How to reset your, your Roku without having to unplug it. If you ever have to do that, you're seeing me toggle down to the settings menu. So from the settings menu, you toggle down to system. Technically you can click up from the top of a menu and it'll go to the last thing listed but we're just trying to keep it simple here you're gonna press OK and then you'll notice there is a heading that says system restart isn't that nice all you have to do to reset your Roku and that, and that means like you know not factory reset it but just reset it like you were unplugging it or if the power went down is go to that button on the other hand, if you do have to do a factory reset, which would like erase all of your passwords, you'd have to reinstall Netflix, things like that, you can do that here. And because it's so serious, you'll notice it has please enter the code there at the bottom. You'll be given a unique code that would allow you to reset the Roku without you know accidentally just clicking on resetting the whole thing. You can also go in to reset your network connection. That's your internet connection to your modem, your router. But those are important things to know how to do on a Roku because otherwise, if you have to turn off your Roku and turn it back on, if something's happening, you need you know if a channel isn't working correctly or you know, something simple like that, oftentimes all you really need to do is turn the Roku off and back on again. And with that feature, you're able to do it without reaching behind the TV or having to plug things back in or anything like that. It only takes a second, it resets, and you're straight. System updates can also be done from the menu if your Roku doesn't automatically do them. You see how to reach that. It's in the same general menu area. We obviously just did one. And finally, one other thing we'll show you in this video that might also help you out. If you have an app that is not working, maybe you don't want to go through a whole reset or even an update, you can update an app or a channel directly from the channel. What you're going to do is select the channel you want to look at and press the star button. And you'll see on this there is a option for check for updates. So if you, you have something that says, you know, app must be updated or channel must be updated, or even if it's acting a little sluggish, maybe it needs an update, you can do that directly from the home page without even getting into the settings. So those are a couple of quick, short, helpful hints for your Roku. I hope you found that helpful. The reason we even put this video together is I was talking to my mother the other day and she said she had to reset her Roku and had to go behind her TV and unplug this and reach, you know, reach and feel. And I just thought, you know, that seems like too much trouble for somebody to have to go through if they don't have to. So you're welcome, Mom. You're welcome, everybody else who needed that information. As always, I hope you will share this video with your friends and subscribe. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on my friends.